Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. Thank you again for joining us here at CCSC. Welcome to our Blackwoods map build for 2022. As you can see, we've built quite a bit off screen. Uh, we wanted to gain enough money to finish our highway down here, which we've done, uh, at our service interchange. This is just a simple diamond service interchange. And as you can see, uh, it is elevated. And what we did was build the bridge and then build the land up to the bridge. And I'll go ahead and show you that we're going to build another one of those in today's episode uh, we're going to build that down here and that will service both meadow park and meadow square and if you would like to name any one of these districts feel free leave a comment below i will name any one of these uh doesn't matter to me whatever you want to call it as long as it's appropriate go ahead and leave a comment in the section below now we're going to get straight into today's episode and we're going to talk about two things we're going to talk about industries dlc farmland and if you don't have the Industries DLC, you should go ahead and buy it. However, if you don't have it, you can still play along and I'll show you how. And we're also going to talk about pre-planning your city. Where you want to go, what you want to do, how you want to get there. So let's go ahead and get right into today's episode. We're going to go ahead and start a farmland industry. And as you can see, we have already zoned off our farmland. Uh, all of this area here is going to be Middle Complex, however it will change the name as soon as we put down the Farmland Main Building. The Farmland Main Building is what separates this area as farmland. Makes sense, right? Uh, this is your main headquarters for your industries area. All four of the industries have different headquarters. Uh, but this is where your garbage is going to be picked up. This is where all of your main things is going to happen. So it needs to be the first building that... that people see whenever they come into into the area and we're gonna go ahead and put that down once we put that down middle farmland has reached level one we now have small grain silo small animal pasture small crop field small fruit field now I want to show you a quick little trick as you can see this is built on a four-lane road and I do not intend on keeping that I intend on making this a gravel road however once you upgrade it like that, it pushes it off the road and makes it look a little nicer. It's still connected to the road. Uh, however, instead of the fence being right against the road, the fence is a little bit set back and it looks a little bit better, uh, if you ask me. So the first things that you, impl that you open are small crop field and small fruit field. Both of these do the same thing. They produce crops. Uh, there's no variation, there's no difference. You don't have to worry about that. It's purely aesthetics. What would you like to see in your city? So we're gonna go ahead and put crop fields down because this is a temperate climate. You can see it's 68 degrees Fahrenheit in the bottom right hand corner. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and put a few of these down and these will probably relocate at some point. But for right now, we're just gonna put a couple there and you can go ahead and Select it and you can change the appearance even you can change it from wheat to potatoes to corn uh, And all this does is just change the appearance. That's it. It just makes it look different uh, Don't worry about producing all of these different crops. Uh, I think we're on wheat. We're gonna go ahead and keep it at wheat uh, Greenhouse is kind of cool and then you don't know what's in there um, And it looks you know more modern more industry uh, if you're in a city setting, I would say maybe do the greenhouse. In modern areas with city centers, it kind of looks cool to have the greenhouses. Now, let's go ahead and get into planning our build. Uh, so after a long time of looking around the map and trying to figure out what I want to do, uh, in the last build, we used these nine tiles here. And I want to change it up a little bit. We're going to push it over, just one tile over. We're going to use these nine tiles here. So this is going to be the edge of our map. So as you can see, with our residential area, I know this is the end. So all of this is going to be low-density residential, residential. And we have built a K-wall or, or key wall, wherever you're from, uh, all the way around the side to make it look nice. Pre-planning our city, as mentioned, I've decided... I like to have a highway that goes in a circle. Normally I do it kind of around the city, uh, but this one is going to kind of be within the city. So we have one tile we can buy. We're gonna go ahead and buy this tile to the south of us because this is where we're gonna go next. Now that we have this tile, I can show you. We're gonna run this highway. So this highway is going to go this way. Oh, and it's going to stretch where it is all the way around. 
and we're going to use all of this highway. We're just going to keep this infrastructure that's here. Then we're going to build the highway on these two tiles here. So it's going to cross the bridge on these two, and then curve around and cross this bridge. It's going to have another bridge over here, and then connect to this highway that's over here. So that's the pre-planning for the city. So as you can see, we already have the kind of S-curve built in to reach this area of the map. Once we save up enough money, because it is very expensive building a highway across a river, uh, we'll go ahead and continue that down across and over to here and then probably come across somewhere over here maybe try and reach that little point there maybe uh, but we'll figure that out later we also want to remove all of this oil down here uh, using industries DLC uh, however industries DLC take quite a while but we as you can see in the bottom right hand corner we need industry we don't need residential we don't need commercial we need a little bit uh, we are kind of stagnant right now uh, which is okay. Uh, it's not not the worst thing in the world. We're just saving money we're, we're trying to build up money now Obviously the more people you have the quicker you build up money, but that's what we're doing So we're gonna go ahead and go off camera We'll bump it up to three times speed and we'll catch it whenever we hit Level two on Midland farmland and to reach level two We just need to reach at the top right hand corner here uh, produced resources we need to reach 5,000 produced resources and workers we need 150 workers the first milestone isn't too bad and then you unlock a couple other things uh, real quick let's go ahead and add the other amenities that we have now and talk about supply chain so the crop fields small crop field and fruit field both produce crops the pastures produce animal pastures and they produce animal products also what produces animal products large animal pastures obviously but also uh, is your milking parlor, cattle shed, milking parlor, and slaughterhouse. These all produce just animal products. That's just one lump thing, animal products. You don't have to worry about having all of them. Uh, it does, it's, it's mostly about aesthetics. We're going to go ahead and put down the grain silo, though. The grain silo is a storage facility for these crops. So the grain silo, no noise pollution, no, uh, sorry, 20%, 20 noise pollution, no, no regular pollution. A simple grain silo used for storming, storing farmland, industry, raw material, crops. That's all it does. Its storage buildings can be placed inside or outside industry areas. Uh, all it does is store crops. Uh, not necessary whenever you're, you know, we're producing crops. We will sell those crops if we're not using them. Eventually here soon we're going to, you can see they're just moving them over there. Eventually we're going to use these crops for our animal pastures. Uh, however, whenever you're doing ore or oil, uh, both of those are finite resources, so it's best to store those early in the game. That way you have those for your factories later on in the game. Now, like I said, we're going to go ahead and go off camera. We'll wait until we reach level 2, and we will join you right back here in just a second after a quick word from our sponsors. As you can see, we have reached level 2 at mid Middle Farmland. Uh, with level 2, you receive a few area bonuses. Your efficiency goes up 4%, your pollution goes down 10%. Uh, the following buildings have also been unlocked. We now have a flour mill, bakery, farm workers, barracks, cattle shed, and small barn, which is all great news. However, we still don't have any money. Uh, we have added a animal pasture over here. This is a small animal pasture, and the same with the crop fields. You can change what's in them, but it's purely aesthetics. You can do sheep, highland cows, cows, or pigs. Uh, we have pigs on here because that's what they put in there. Um, no matter to me. Uh, we also have, whenever you put down something like this, so the grain silos uh, store crops. The animal products cannot be stored in grain silos or barns because they only store crops. So you have to have some sort of warehouse facility. This is a small warehouse. This is all, also part of the industry's DLC. Uh, over here you have a warehouse yard or a small warehouse, 8,000 or 4,000. I went ahead and put down the, the expensive one because we will need it in the long run. Uh, we're going to go ahead and wait for a little bit more money. Let's go ahead and see if there's anything that we can buy now. So this is the small barn, and this is the same as the grain silo. We have two grain silos down already. Uh, it's mostly aesthetics, and I think it might store a little bit more. Uh, capacity, 400,000 and 300,000. It does store a little bit more, but mostly it's just aesthetics. So we have the option for cattle shed, flour mill, and is that it? Oh, and the bakery is in over here. The bakery is a factory. And the factories, the unique factories, can actually be placed outside of industry areas. So we can put that anywhere in our city. Uh, it's 
depends on what you want to do. Uh, it might be best to keep it kind of close, uh, depending on the traffic. The next thing that we're going to put down is a flour mill, so we need to raise $15,000, and we'll be right back. As you can see, we've reached our goal of $15,000, so we're going to go ahead and build the flour mill, but we got a little bit of residential demand. We'll go ahead and zone this off, and we've already got pipes ran, so we don't even have to worry about it. Uh, that's why I wanted to make those two very long roads. Now we can add our flour mill. So we're gonna go ahead and put the flour mill down. Um, now the flour mill does pollute a little bit, so you wanna keep it away from your crops and your animals. We'll go ahead and section the back part of this off. And we will put our flour mill right here. The of having this road here is to separate traffic a little bit, but you'll find that the Sims will not turn right here. Uh, they will go up, around, down, and then turn into here. So it still keeps this traffic all clear going straight up. So we've got our flour mill down. Now the flour mill, guess what? It produces flour. That's all it does. So we need another storage facility uh, down to store that flour. Now we can put our warehouse yard down. Now this is a little bit smaller than the warehouse, than the small warehouse. Uh, this is just a little empty yard. There's no actual warehouse here. Uh, there's nothing inside. It's just this. Uh, however, we need to go ahead and specialize what we're going to store here. We're going to store flour in this area. And we can actually, until we have the bakery, we can go ahead and put it on fill. And it will just fill instead of balance, which kind of keeps a balance. Or empty, it fills, you know. Kind of seems obvious, right? Nonetheless, let's go ahead and get back into the episode by going back on break. Uh, we're going to wait until we reach level three. We need a lot more workers, so we're going to have to add a lot more um, jobs. We need to add a lot more crop fields and a lot more stuff like that. However, we need a lot more workers, and we need a little bit more produced resources. We're going to wait until we reach level three. We need a lot of other things in the city. We are neglecting the city by doing it this way. I'm trying to get all of this five-star industry build in one episode and we are absolutely neglecting our city we have one firehouse up here to service this entire area we need another firehouse down here we need a lot more things however we're trying to get through the episode stay with us we'll be right back and as you can see we have an enormous problem and this is the main reason why i hate landfill sites uh no more room they can't store any more garbage. So as you can see, we've got some garbage piling up all over the city. We need to take care of that. We're going to go ahead and add a recycling center. The recycling center is part of the Green Cities DLC, another must-have DLC. Uh, $16,000 and this 15 truck capacity, this works so much better. Uh, let's go ahead and put this down. We need to go and borrow a loan first. We're going to pay the loan off, then we're going to take the loan right back where we were now we can put this down and we have started to dezone some of the industry area that's over here so we're going to take out two of these real quick and then dezone a little bit more just by putting that down now that will to go ahead and take care of our garbage problems and we can switch this facility over here to empty and we've just reached Busy Town Milestone, population of 3,600. This unlocks quite a bit more things that we can do that we can't do because we don't have any money. So not really anything to cover right now. Uh, all of this stuff, most all of this stuff is covered by the DLCs. Download the whole, whole $100 pack or whatever it costs now. You'll probably end up spending it in the long run anyway. All of this cool stuff we can get into later in the build. We're going to go back. We, uh, I, I've gone through. I've upgraded quite a few of the neighborhoods trying to get our population to stabilize. This guy was complaining about taxes, but he was the only one. Uh, so we've added a few parks. Uh, let's see. So we added a park down here, some park paths. We added a little bit more commercial. And I did it around the natural trees. Uh, this is all that's zoned off so far. We'll probably add a couple more over here, but all of these trees are going to stay. Uh, we've added a basketball court. We've added a couple more park paths to connect, make it easier. Look at all these people just walking straight across, maybe even getting over to this park. All these people coming off the park. Uh, it, it increases land value quite a bit. If you go over here to your 
parks area. Now you can see everyone's kind of happy. I still have a bunch of red, obviously. Um, we, we don't have any money. So, uh, However, we just reached $49,000. So let's get right into this. We can add quite a few things that I want to add. We need to add the cattle shed. Cattle shed is $12,000. We're going to go ahead and put this... Uh, we'll knock out the tree. It'll come back later if we move it. Uh, this cattle shed does have a little bit of pollution, so we put it right next to a storage facility. Uh, it does have some noise pollution, so it's kind of away from everything. Uh, they're well-ventilated buildings used to raise cattle, and they produce, what do you guess? Animal products. Uh, they take 240 kilowatts of electricity, but uh, they, they produce about 32 tons per week. Now, after we do that, we need to go ahead and check out our storage facilities. We are now at 100% full at this, so we can go ahead and 78% full. Uh, this one is on balance. Let's go ahead and pause this real quick. Uh, so we're going to add the bakery to our town, and I think that we're going to add the bakery on this side of the town. The bakery, all the unique factories do not need to be added into uh, the industrial area. They can actually be added into town. And we're going to try something here. We're going to try and set the bakery off just a little bit. So here's our bakery. And if you get this lined up right with the... Uh, I don't think we're going to be able to do it. So we're going to try on this side of the street. And now we can delete this, which puts that tree back. And can we delete this? Ah, uh, we can indeed. Perfect. Perfect. All right, so that's how you get a building to sit straight on the end of a street. Now, let's go ahead and hit play and make sure. Yes, that's how you get a building to sit straight on the end of the street. And we can put a couple storage facilities back behind here. We may actually add those roads back. I'm not positive exactly how I want to do this. But I know I want to supply jobs closer to town uh, so people don't have to drive so much. We're, we're trying to add more jobs over here. Uh, as you can see, we need animal products, crops, and flour. All three things we have been producing uh, in preparation for this build and all three things that we have been storing. And it will produce pastries. Uh, workplaces, 38. So, nice little factory. It's close to town. And... Uh, I think the description over here, who wouldn't love the delicious smell of a freshly baked donut early in the morning? So put it over here in town. It's kind of close to everything. This is going to be, this is our main street. This is going to be more commercial buildings. Uh, we might terraform this. That bothers me. But let's go ahead and hit play. And we need to address jobs. We have plenty of money right now. So let's go ahead and add a couple more things. Uh, we're going to add some workers barracks. These are going to be... Uh, so the workers barracks Workers barracks increase the work efficiency of the workers in the industrial area each building increases the work efficiency by 5% up to maximum of 100% so you can have 20 of them That's it. That's all you need uh, <clears throat> Auxiliary building needs to be placed inside the industry area now I don't necessarily have a plan on where to put these, so let's pause. I'm going to take a second. So we placed down two workers' barracks. We put them on the end of the street here. As you can see, there is 25% noise pollution. Uh, however, it's by crop fields and a roundabout, so that's no problem. They are at the end of this street, um, kind of away from this main road here. Hopefully, they can get some rest. Um, nonetheless, incre increases our workers' efficiency by 10%. Two of them, so perfect. Uh, we can continue, and these are housing areas for uh, the workers, so they can live on site. So there's 70 of 40 living there and 13 of 40 there. Uh, that gets our workers uh, 350 to the next level. That increases very quickly whenever they can live on site. People can move into town, move right there, live and work there. Uh, we might need to add some commercial over here. The plan is to have Emerson Square come down this way, and to have this road head down this way for Meadow Park. We need to address electric and water over here at our bakery. And there we go. It is now operational. Let's go ahead and take a look. So they are complaining now about taxes. They live on the water next to the high school, next to the park. They're complaining about taxes. And it's because we're at 13%. We can go ahead and bump that down for residential and hopefully that takes care of everyone's problems. We have garbage problems because we have no money. We need $16,000. We've put down two recycling centers so far. However, as I said, we have no money. So, 
317 workers. We will be at level three very quickly. We'll be right back. And here we are. Middle farmland has reached level three. Area bonuses, efficiency plus eight. Pollution down 20%. The following buildings have been unlocked. We now have a lemonade factory, a milking parlor, a medium crop field, and a medium fruit field. This is great news. Uh, except for we have no money. <laughs> we'll be right back. Now that we've saved up a little bit of money, we have put down the medium crop field. The medium crop field, same, obviously, uh, everything benefits. However, it produces a lot more. Uh, production rate 80 tons per week and production rate 48 tons per week. So it produces, uh, let's see, what was that? <laughs> Sorry, 80 and 48. So it produces not quite double. Uh, and it takes up double the space, but it's because it has this little barn farmhouse thing here uh, So it kind of makes it look more natural and into the scenery What I like to normally do is have one medium and maybe two of these on each side or ha Have the large crop field and then a couple mediums. It makes it look more like there's an actual little farmhouse there uh, Gives more of a direction now. We can also add the milking parlor Milking parlor is right here. It does have pollution and it does have noise pollution. So we're gonna put it here. We're going to delete both of these lines and we're gonna put it as close as we can over here not trying not to pollute or no noise pollute our pigs over here. Uh, all of this is temporary for the most part. Um, it's it, until you can get everything down and start making money in the area, it's, it's very hard to know what kind of, and we can go ahead and delete that now. I knew we could soon and that. Uh, it's kind of hard to know exactly where you want everything to be. All of this will be moved around later, but you can see all of these are kind of industrial buildings. They kind of belong on an industrial street like this, where the farms belong on a gravel road. Uh, all of that is purely aesthetics. It's, it's something that we'll move around and play with a little bit later. However, we've got a couple more facilities down to supply jobs for our citizens. We need job growth. The milking parlor has 70 workers. That's why this is great news. And we unlocked uh, one other thing. Oh, uh, the medium farm supplies 22 workers where one of these supplies 20. So that's not that big of a deal. The big deal are these, the industry looking aspects of um, the industry's DLC. These are what supply a lot of jobs. 45 jobs, The those are only 20. 45, 55, and 70. That is a lot of jobs. So, we can go ahead and go back off camera. City's working fine. And we've now reached middle farmland level four. Area bonus is 12% efficiency, 30% down on pollution. We've unlocked clothing factory, farm maintenance building, large barn and slaughterhouse. The closing, clothing factory we cannot implement yet. Uh, the clothing factory, part of the unique factories, along with the lemonade that we just unlocked at the last milestone. Lemonade requires glass can't use it we don't we're not producing glass yet and the clothing factory requires plastics uh, as well yeah, so we don't need to worry about those two factories however we can add as you can see we are out of the red into the black we're doing very well we're making six grand a week we're fifty three thousand uh, dollar in the bank uh, we added a couple more workers barracks we can now add the farm maintenance building the farm maintenance building um, it uh, takes care of the industrial buildings, or the, the buildings inside, it, it maintains them. Uh, each maintenance building increases the storage capacity of industrial buildings by 5%. So you can have a few of these. Auxiliary buildings need to be placed inside the industry area. So we're going to go ahead and put this down back here. And we'll just put it on the back side of the main building. Again, all of this is probably going to be moved around quite a bit uh, at the end of the episode. Once we get everything stationed, once we get five stars, uh, then we can unlock the proper large fields and make this thing look really nice and do a lot of detail work off camera and then show you the final product. Now, we can also add the slaughterhouse. We are running out of room on this industry street. So we're gonna go ahead and put this down here. We need to, so how much pollution? 25 pollution. Uh, we need to expand our area though. So let's go ahead and run this back and because this is just a, a quick tutorial to run through everything, uh, we will, again, move all of this. But this kind of gives you, and I know it's expensive to relocate all this stuff for no reason at all. So, for example, this will probably be the most expensive thing. But to relocate, 
Uh, we're looking at $3,200 just to relocate it. So three grand just to move that because we don't like where it is now. Uh, nonetheless, this will get us started. Slaughterhouse, we're just waiting on raw materials. Uh, raw materials being crops and animal products. Crops and animal products, sorry. Uh, just being crops. They will come shortly and then we will have 85 workers in this area. And this is whenever you start to see these industry areas actually paying off for your workforce. Uh, we have right now, if you go to your info views, go down to population, we have 23% unemployment. That's not good. Uh, that's not good at all. Uh, now granted, 19% of our workforce is seniors and 7% are children. However, 23% in unemployment, not great at all. We have neglected our city. We have failed to do a lot of things in just trying to get this up to five stars. And by, we are not done. We're going to get this done. Stay with us. We'll be at five stars very soon. Destroy the trees. And if you take a quick drive down Main Street, it looks really nice. Uh, it's, it's not too cluttered. There are plenty of shops, plenty of buildings, but there's a little bit of walking space. There's plenty of trees. There's still plenty of nature. It, it looks kind of good. Uh, we did add the fire department headquarters. The fire headquarters is right there now. And we moved to the other fire station to our industry area farmland over in middle farmland. Uh, but you can see there's, you know, shops on the corner, but there's still a lot of trees. There's a lot of paths to walk down uh, all over the place. I, I really like that a lot better than just a straight concrete canyon of commercial buildings. Uh, something like this looks more natural as well. There's plenty of area. It, it looks really good. So we pretty much maxed out our zoning for this area for commercial. And you can see we actually took a few little bits of commercial down here. A couple little bits down here and a couple one right here just to extend the commercial a little bit more off of the main street so there's a little bit of bleed of commercial over towards this area and we actually brought up this area we, we needed no more parks or anything so this little strip here is also residential on the other side of this meridian street uh, you can see you can kind of blur them in together and these houses here although yes that's a house and then this is, what is this? A chicken stand? Busy corner store. That's a chicken. No, it's a bowling pin is what it is. Bowling alley is what it says. But uh, busy corner shop uh, is right next to this house. But they're, they're far enough apart that they're not going to be disturbed by the noise pollution. And we have the same thing over here. Uh, m and clothing kind of next to this house. But separated by this little path. And you can see... I didn't want to destroy any of these trees, so instead of running this path down here and then over, or up here and then over, uh, I just cut diagonal to keep the trees in the in the play. Make it look nice, make it look natural, and form everything around it. You can see I did the same thing. I didn't want to bring this uh, path down right next to the cemetery because it would have destroyed this tree, so I just brought it at an angle over to the intersection and it looks nice anyway. Uh, playing with the natural terrain, the natural topography, and the natural trees and rocks that are in uh, we've also done the same thing down here this is a, a big rock that was here and instead of destroying it and building houses i just built a bunch of houses around this area uh, i think it looks a lot nicer i added a few trees back here to kind of fill in the the void of just grass uh, but i think it looks really cool and as you drive down this street you can see it it you know there's something to look at there's something to bring out this neighborhood there's a identifying landmark uh, which I think is really cool. I always try and do that. Uh, this roundabout here real quickly. Uh, this is the natural stuff that comes in the middle of the small roundabout. So the small roundabout is this big. And that is this. This is a small roundabout upgraded. So the small roundabout only has... Uh, only has two lane roads. It doesn't have a highway. So I, instead of putting down the large roundabout, which is gigantic... Uh, I put down the small roundabout down here and then upgraded this to a two-lane highway and then upgraded these to four-lane roads. It keeps the space a little tighter and you get free decorations in the middle. Uh, I like this a lot better than, than using the large roundabout necessarily uh, as far as the two preset roundabouts. And as you can see, our traffic management is great. We're doing fine with this diamond interchange here. Uh, there's enough space and coming off, you can see you've got the exit, but you've also got two lanes. You can go left or right. Uh, this coming down, you've got two lanes coming down and then it merges into one. And coming up here, 
same thing. You've got one lane coming off, but two lanes coming up, so you can go either way. Uh, it keeps it a little more spaced out, so you can decide which which way you need to go. And coming onto the highway, you've got two lanes for people to come onto the highway, so you can get two people down there, and then they've got to merge together. Uh, our traffic management is doing great. Let's go ahead and look at traffic. Yeah, we are at 92% traffic. The only little bits of red spot are right here, and this intersection light is doing wonders. It's, it's really keeping up quite nicely. And right here. Uh, everything else is fine. A little bit in this industry area, but that's expected of any industry area. 92%, 93% traffic. Uh, one exit off to support 5,000 people, 4,500. Uh, we're doing very well. However, we need to go ahead and add another one because we are going to build quite a bit. We're going to build Meadow Park down here. We're going to wait for this area and most of this area at Emerson Square uh, to get 5,500 population before we build it, because 5,500 we can then implement uh, high density residential zones. We can implement uh, tall apartments and everything kind of on the water I want to be, have a little spurses of tall. Uh, the main area of downtown is going to be these this kind of area down here. Uh, so I think it would look nice to have a couple high-rise buildings on this side kind of facing the water. I think that'll make it look better. So we're going to wait a little bit for that. But we need to go ahead and address the problem that's going to happen anyway right now. Uh, we're going to make a interchange. And we're not going to be able to do it that way. So we need to try and get right in the middle node here because we're going to come out 10. Oh. We're going to come out 10 on both sides. And that is going to give us the longest bridge that we can have. You see, this is just 10 across. So there is a pillar here and a pillar here. There's no pillar in the middle. Down here, there's a pillar in the middle and 10 and 10 on each side. And we are actually going to cover this pillar up eventually. We can go ahead and come out 12 and do the same thing over here. We're going to cover the pillar up with dirt eventually. Oh, sorry. Right there. Uh, like we did up here after we built the bridge then we filled in the dirt we're gonna do the same thing down here however we're going to try and attempt to make a very tight diamond interchange so this is a diamond interchange but you can see there's plenty of room to get off the highway we're gonna try and make a very tight diamond interchange just by coming right like that and try and match it to the other side over here something about like that and do the same thing up here. Let's go ahead and come downward like we did on this side. And try and match it as well. Oh, something like that, I think. And I may want to go ahead and raise those up. That's not going to work for me. We're going to go ahead. Ah, eh, that's actually not too bad. Yeah, I like that. Uh, I wanted the bridges to be a little bit longer, but let's go ahead and take a look. We will bury a little bit of this. So we're just using the fill soil tool, and this is just adding soil by holding X. If you hold square, it removes soil. And once we get the soil all around, we're going to... Try and level terrain to this height. And then we're going to slope terrain downward. And then we're going to soften terrain to get it to kind of all even out and match. And this isn't a final product, obviously. I just kind of wanted to get an idea of how this looked. I don't think we need to go further down. I kind of envisioned the ramps to be a lot longer, but I think that's going to be just fine. So we can go ahead and connect our highway connections and adjust that a little bit more later. Uh, let's go ahead and go to the curve tool and curve this in nice and gentle flow right into the highway. And we'll do the same thing up here. And something like that there. Um, that's not too bad. So we've got a much tighter inner diamond interchange. Um, it's a lot longer than I want. And actually, I think we're going to shorten, shorten that up. Uh, at least down on this end. 
and we might shorten that up on the other side too, make it not so long. I think we will. Uh, but we can go ahead and do all of this off camera. We will detail this and try and get the land up and make it nice and level and look good. And sometimes with something like this, if you do have a problem trying to get the land level and looking good, you can also just come and rebuild. And then it makes it look a lot better. You can see what I mean. Uh, after you kind of get it adjusted. So we're going to go ahead and go off camera. We're going to get all of this detailed out, looking nice and functional. And then we're going to connect it over here and connect our city with our highway with another service interchange. This is a tight diamond service interchange. And there we go. Let's go ahead and fix this off camera and we'll be right back. And let's check in real quick before we go. Midland Farms, middle farmland. Uh, we're still waiting on resources. We need 35,000 more resources. So we've got a little bit to go. However, 790 workers out of 800, maybe one more barracks and we should be there. 795, we're there now. We'll be right back. And I will admit, it might not necessarily be a tight diamond interchange. I'd say kind of just a diamond interchange. Uh, but you can see, there's a little bit more room to work with. Uh, over here, we've got tin tiles just going down to there. And over here, we've, we've, we don't have much space. We've got 20 tiles total separating them. And here we've got 10, 20, 30. So it's not necessarily a tight diamond. I would say a tight diamond, the interchange, uh, the exit ramps would probably come to about here maybe and then come more in uh but nonetheless this is our finished product uh we could we could dilly around for another hour on it uh but we just added a few details just to make it kind of stand out we added and you could expand and do whatever you want all of this is with just the simple landscaping tool in the basic ps4 or xbox console play any any edition has all of these tools uh they're just trees rocks and moss this whole underside of the highway over here uh, let's go ahead and hit play. I didn't realize we were paused still. Uh, this whole underside of the highway over here has moss all over it. Uh, moss and grass all over the sides of it. This is kind of hidden by the sun, so this side kind of has moss and grass. This side over here rocks. Uh, just a couple uf uniform rocks. Some of them are put together. These two rocks are put together. Uh, two rocks that you can layer on top of each other and no one would ever notice. Uh, this is all the same rock, and it's, it's just a little bit different sizes. It looks odd that they're all facing the same way. However, trying to do this a little bit quick. Uh, you can see the fence line down here as kind of a natural barrier so that no one drives off and hits one of these rocks. Um, it, they don't really have a highway uh, guardrail, uh, which I would r wish to have. I would say maybe this is the closest, but even still, a fence kind of looks all right. As you're driving down the highway, you look over, you see a bunch of rocks, you see a bunch of trees, you see a little fence line. It kind of looks okay. A couple people getting off the highway, and you can, as you can see, again, we did two lanes up at the tops. Uh, then people can merge into one down here. Uh, but And then added some trees all around. We added a few uniform trees, kind of. You know, three coming off this way. And then three coming off this way. Uh, but mostly just kind of a little freestyle around. Uh, but this is our finished product for our other highway service interchange. For people to get on and off the highway. Just to get to their residential areas that they live down here. And this will allow us to continue and build on and expand our residential area at the south end of the peninsula. We are still waiting for quite a few resources. I paused the game for most of that build. Uh, what we can finish our residential area down here and get everything that we want to do uh, and, and organize down on this side. Real quick, I feel I should mention, whenever I discussed upgrading this roundabout from a regular roundabout to, from a small roundabout to a highway roundabout, uh, you do need to brace the inside of it with some dirt roads or whatever roads, it doesn't matter, but dirt roads are the cheapest roads. Uh, you do need to brace that before you do some upgrading, otherwise it could, uh, it could break. So we can upgrade these two sides real quick on camera, all three of these. And then we're going to go ahead and upgrade this to a two-lane highway. And after you upgrade everything, you can see it gets rid of the, the crosswalks. After you upgrade everything, then you can remove all of this. All your decorations go back, and you've got a perfect little roundabout. Ladies and gentlemen, as you can see, we have surpassed the amount of produced resources that we need to reach. We just need to reach the workers, and I just threw down four more of these worker barracks. So they should, we should reach this very quickly. Let's discuss uh, first. So the whole concept of this is you have non-polluting industry, 
But in order to utilize everything that it produces, you have to have some polluting industry. So what we've done here is, let's go to a, a top view here. Uh, what we've done is we have our first highway exit, our second highway exit. We have a bridge crossing the two. Back here is our bakery off of Main Street. Our bakery supplies quite a few jobs to our citizens. Uh, 38 jobs to our citizens. Um, it is right off Main Street, making everything smell nice and good every morning, making donuts. We have reached level 5. Let's go ahead and cover everything real quick, and then we'll get back to what my train of thought was. Middle farmland has reached level 5. Efficiency, 16% plus. Pollution, 40% negative. We are doing great. Uh, we've got large animal pasture, food factory, large grain silo, large crop field, large fruit field. Those are the last things that you're waiting for. That's it. We've reached level five. Ladies and gentlemen, congratulations. Let's give ourselves a round of applause. Thank you for sticking with us through the video. It has been a long one. I've been doing this all day long. I do not advise you to only focus on one thing while you're doing this. Let's get back to my train of thought. Over here, we've got three small storage uh, areas, shipping container areas, warehouse yards. That's what they're called. Three small warehouse yards right off the side of the bakery. The bakery requires animal products, crops, and flour. We have animal products, we have flour, and this little, little bitty small barn over here holds crops. So all three of the things that are needed is right there. <clears throat> Anything you need for the bakery, it's right there. We don't have to worry about running out of supply. We don't have to worry about traffic problems. We don't have to worry about anything. This is just an extra one. It holds flour as well. Uh, we don't necessarily need it. However, we moved it from over here. As you remember, we had everything just lined up right here, polluting the ground right next to where we want to build Emerson Square. We have now relocated it. As you can see, the two highway exits both come down into a roundabout, an upgraded roundabout upgraded to a highway roundabout. Both of these exits come into a roundabout. This is Meadow Park. We've already started on Meadow Park. Uh, it's going to be mostly high density residential around this outskirts area, kind of by the water line, uh, and high density commercial here. But back here is low density residential. There's a couple of tennis courts, basketball courts, same over here. We are going to get this road to connect eventually before we build this bridge across. We will cover that in the next episode. Uh, Back to what I was saying, we've got uh, residential here and residential here. This is all commercial. We've, we've connected everything with walking paths, so it's separated by one tile only. We haven't had any problems with sickness from noise pollution as of yet. We will see, and if we do, then we'll have to get rid of these houses. This is just a, an elementary school. It is the alternative, um, the Green Cities Initiative, uh, Green Cities DLC uh, elementary school. Uh, we're going to put high density residential in Meadow Park. We have reached 4,863 in population. We have reached level 5 in Emerson Square. So as you come off here, you can go to the uh, agricultural industrial area. This is the district that pollutes. This is the cattle shed, the milking parlor, and the flour mill, as well as the slaughterhouse. So the slaughterhouse is a big building. It's definitely, and it's kind of unfortunate... <clears throat> Excuse me, as you come off the highway here, coming into the nice areas that are Emerson Square and that are uh, Meadow Park, y you see the slaughterhouse on your right hand side. However, there's a few hills, so you kind of don't notice it. It's kind of off in the distance. We're going to do a lot of terraforming with this area back here. We're going to straighten some things out. I wanted to keep it off the highway because of both noise pollution and pollution. Uh, but this main road here is going to separate these two neighborhoods, Meadow Park and Emerson Square. This little area right here, I think we're going to max out a lot of uh, commercial. Uh, we're going to do some specialization commercial, but we'll cover that in the next episode. Let's go ahead and throw down what we unlocked with level 5. We are finally there, ladies and gentlemen. This is the large crop field. We're just going to throw these down over here. This is the large fruit field. It's the same thing. I'm not even going to put it down. We have no fruit fields. That's what the large crop field looks like. So that looks really good, sandwiched between to uh no this looks really good the medium looks really good sandwiched between two of the smalls the large looks good by itself you put down a couple large together and it looks like a little farmhouse there someone covering both sides uh, so we've got the large crop field, large fruit field. We've also got the large animal pasture. We'll go ahead and throw one of those down. Now, this is like four times as big 
as the other animal pastures. The small animal pastures versus the large are giants. This is the large fruit, uh, crop field, this is the medium, small crop field, and this is the medium crop field. So you can see the animal pasture is a huge jump. Uh, other than that, we have everything already unlocked. We've got the large grain silo. We'll go ahead and throw that down. That's what that looks like compared to the small grain silo. Now, ladies and gentlemen, we are done. We've reached level five. However, as you can see, all of this is a cluster. Uh, I I'm not happy with the way it looks. I'm going to go off camera. We're going to make all of this look really nice over here. And because we don't have any polluting industry, this is going to be where all the farmland and all the workers live. And all of the animal products are produced by these pigs. Uh, all of this is going to look really kind of country and uh and and have a rustic appeal and aesthetic and then this is our industry area this is our modernized area for the agricultural ladies and gentlemen we're gonna go off camera we're gonna come right back just a couple more minutes maybe uh thank you so much for sticking around thank you for joining us please like share and subscribe and we will cover the final details and then we'll end the episode